There are currently over 8 billion people living on the earth. Out of those 8 billion people, how many people do you think have the exact same beliefs and views as you about love, money, politics, societal issues, war, family, religion? The answer is zero. You are one of one. But even with all of our differences, I believe that we can find a way to coexist. I think you believe that too. That's why you click this video. Whether you're having a tough time getting along with your romantic partner, a coworker, your child, your parent, a family member, whoever it may be, if you watch this video through, I hope that it will equip you with the wisdom that you will need to go towards living a life of harmony, joy, fulfillment, and coexistence. Let's get into it. Here are seven ways to love people you disagree with. And you might say, Blake, love the people I disagree with? So love to me means to accept, to genuinely from your heart wish the best for that person even though you disagree with them. Number one, have empathy and understanding. This one, so life-changing. My tip for this is really try your best to come outside of your own perspective and think about if I was born as that person, I would have had inherited the things that they inherited. And if I experienced the things that they experienced in their life, then I would be them. And I would think exactly like them. And I would have the same thoughts. When I was disagreeing with my mom a lot, I thought about this. Wow, if I grew up as her, had her inherited things, I would just think the same exact way that she thinks. And it doesn't, whoever you're disagreeing with, it's not about right and wrong in that way. But when you have empathy and understanding of, ah, you're this shape, I'm this shape, then you can see it from that point of view, not just they should be this way or that way. It helps you understand and see why they might have become that way. When you genuinely put your pride down and try to think about how did they become that way, you can have empathy and understanding instead of coming from judgment. Number two, speak respectfully. It doesn't matter what you say, but how you say it. It doesn't matter what you say, but how you say it. See the difference? I just said the same exact words. Always talk with the listener in mind. How would you want to be spoken to? When you are yelled at, when you are talked down to, when you are talked to disrespectfully, how do you feel? Does that make you want to even open your mind to engage with that person, to try to move towards common ground? No, right? Your walls go up right away. So always be aware of speaking respectfully. Number three, truly listen to the other person. This means trying your best to be present, trying your best to look them in the eye, give them that space to be heard, listen to them. And with that, as an active listener, maybe you can even ask questions as to why they see it that way. This can help you to understand that. I actually had two friends who were fighting over, you know, one was really left-leaning, one was really right-leaning. You know, I'm in America, so that means very, very liberal, very conservative. And they were fighting about politics about and about welfare. And when the person on the right heard the person on the left explain why it is that they actually believe in welfare, which was that his family was on welfare and then that gave him a shot to then become successful, the other person still didn't fully agree on that perspective because they had th their perspective too. But he, they could understand when they really listened and opened their mind and it helped them to still be 
friends. Our problem is we just want to think, oh, you're right, you're wrong. We have to truly listen to each other. We have to be willing to have conversations, not screaming matches. That one leads nicely into number four, which is do not fight or argue. You only have a certain amount of energy. Why would we waste it fighting and arguing? It doesn't help anything when you're having screaming matches, when you're, you start to argue and you start to you know, go below the belt on each other, try to poke each other's pride. It doesn't help anything. And when you try your best to win the argument and make yourself feel right, it doesn't do anything and it doesn't help either of you get anywhere. Number five. Practice humility. No matter which philosophy, religion, ideology, spirituality you look at, they all point to being humble, that we are dust, that we return to dust, that we are on the earth that is like this in the infinite universe, just one of 8 billion people. We breathe the same air. We came into this world and we will all die one day in the same way and our bodies will become nothing. A lot of people misunderstand humility for not being confident. You can be humble and confident at the same time. And it is actually a really beautiful nuance that very successful people have in the world. Think about the people you like to be around. Usually they have humility and they have confidence. Humility is about not looking down on others because we have our own stuff to deal with inside. Who are we to look down on others? Number six, practice respect. You have to give respect to get respect. A lot of times this issue happens with parents and children. The children won't listen at all because they're not also getting respect. And in, in wherever you're at, if you don't respect the other person, it doesn't mean that you respect all of their decisions, but you just respect them as a human being, then they will open their mind and heart and you guys can communicate together. And number seven, which is the absolutely most important, which it always is in these videos with lists, right? Thank you so much for hanging on for the last one because this is by far the most impactful, most important one. Number seven is to reflect on and improve yourself. Clean up your side of the street. We have an endless amount of our own things to work on and improve. Why are we judging others? When we work on and improve ourselves, then that is going to help us to follow every single one of these that we talked about, to be able to have understanding, to be able to speak respectfully, truly listen, not fighting, being humble, practicing respect. It is going to help us to actually follow that. The best way that I've found to be able to reflect on myself and to actually improve and change is through meditation where you can see yourself from outside yourself. You can see where you are now. You can see what is the person you want to become. And you can see what's blocking in between. Clearly. And you can let it go. Let it go. Let it go. There's actually a way how to do this change my life completely. And when you do this and you let it go and you throw it away, you get so many realizations about yourself and about how to deal with others. As I was thinking about what video to make for you all, I was thinking about the issues that are going on in the world right now. And I feel like there's so much tension and we're really not getting along well, even within our own homes and even within our own families. And it's around the holiday season. I really hope that you open your heart and think about how you can get along with the people around you so that we can move towards a better world for all of us to live in. Wishing you peace.